these are the this is a normal magic ghost number cube with the spatial diagonals next to a hyper magic ghost number cube that's boxed this is spatial diagonals and this is boxed and I drew the lines in at the last moment to show that they still relate to the outer ghost numbers um, but uh the central go the inner ghost number cube stays the same there's nothing about the cube that's different from the um hyper ghost number cube the central cube stays the same the all the same numbers 18 18 30 27 30, 30 27 30. all these down here all these down here all the all the central ghost number ghost numbers sent inner cube ghost number uh, inner cube numbers stay the same nothing about this changes it's their relationship when you add the the central ghost number which is produced by the six primary numbers written in blue added together in this case for an addition cube it's when you add the central ghost number to the commutative property going across to the outside of the box to the outer cube is when the relationship between these change from diagonals 18 and 45 equaling 63 63 and 39 24 equaling 63 27 36 equaling 60 30 and 33 equaling 63 and three central ghost numbers equaling 63. Um, the thing that changes is when you add the central ghost number to the commutative property. It's not added here, it's just one and four, two and six, three and five. But when you add the central ghost number, it becomes a hyper magic ghost number cube. And um, the relationship of these inner layer ghost numbers, these purple ones, change from diagonals to a box, a circuitous connection among themselves that relate to the outer ghost number. And this is the different alignment of the go central inner ghost numbers to their outer ghost number sum these this these are the different alignments diagonals and a complete box box set and um goes from three inner ghost numbers the central ghost numbers to three to the fourth power and so another reason i drew these lines out here is to show that the box may be expanding the central ghost number may be expanding outwards taking its box with it to the diagonals but it's a circuitous box and you add them up together instead of adding them separately to create the smaller normal ghost outer ghost number magic ghost number cube normal magic ghost number cube outer ghost number you um the outer magic the hyper the outer hyper magic ghost number is um created by adding the central ghost number in with the commutative property and um instead of being um individual diagonals four individual diagonals that cut through the central ghost number and it is added three times to create the outer ghost number the alignment changes and it's a circuitous box that adds together all of them to create a three to the fourth power ghost number and this is this shows the expansion of the box from diagonals in a small box to the diagonals get shorter in a larger box and the diagonal simply refers to their 
correspondence all together to each of the outer ghost numbers. And um, the ghost numbers on a hyper, the outer, the outer numbers, cubic numbers on a hyper magic ghost numbers, all equal 252. But it's the same thing, and it's always been the same thing for the same outer cubic ghost number, outer cubic numbers, quadrant, octet numbers, 5, 8, 8, 13, 13, 16 equals 63. And in this case, 26, 29, 29, 55, 55, and 58 equals 252. So that's another reason for the outer ghost number being there. And that's um that's another reason why all these correspond to each other in a box to together to create two hundred and fifty two. And I'm hoping I'm explaining myself clearly, but this is a normal magic ghost number cube with a special diagonals. Nothing changes on this and on the inner ghost number cube. And this is the box of a special diagonals. And nothing changes on the inner cube. It's their relationship to each other. All the numbers stay the same. These numbers on the other hand change because you're using the, the ghost number, central ghost number in with the community property for the outer ghost number cube. So um, here's a good look at it again. And everything stops blurring up. There's normal magic ghost number cubes, special diagonals. And this is a hyper magic ghost number cube boxed. Um, so, well, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.